The outer, visible portion of our ear faces forward and has a specialized structure to help us determine the direction of sounds, as well as emphasize the frequencies in the range of human speech. Now that the sound waves are caught, they travel through the ear canal and strike the eardrum, a small membrane about 10 millimeters across. Now that we receive the sound, the middle ear transfers the sound. The smallest bones in your body, the malleus, incus, and stapes, start in motion. The malleus is attached to the eardrum. And as the sound travels along, the force is amplified by leverage until it arrives at the stapes, which acts like a piston creating waves through the fluid of the inner ear. The most significant increase in force comes from a system of hydraulic amplification. The face of the stapes has a surface area of 3.2 square millimeters, while the eardrum has a surface area of 55 square millimeters. Using this, along with leverage through the malleus and incus, causes the final force to be 22 times greater than when the sound first arrived. Now we arrive at the most complicated part of hearing, the cochlea. In reality, it is coiled up, but it is easier to understand straightened out. The stapes is causing pressure waves to travel through the structure. Along the inside wall is about 20 to 30,000 reed-like fibers. As the waves travel along, they encounter fibers with the correct resonant frequency and energy is released. These fibers aren't actually what give us the signal that we heard something. There is a special structure next to these fibers containing hair cells. When the fibers resonate, they cause the hair cells to move, which then sends an electrical impulse to the cochlear nerve and on to the brain. Certain pitches of sound will resonate in specific locations, and louder sounds will cause more hair cells to move. Our brain interprets all this raw data, making it possible to enjoy a beautiful song, or to carry on a conversation. Just to think that all of this is happening in your head right now, at full speed. And not just one, but two of these sophisticated instruments are helping you to have the amazing sense of hearing. This is just one of the many systems in our body that go beyond our humble human understanding.